Welcome to Latin per Diem. This is episode 3 of our series on Turretin of Geneva, his commentary on Thessalonians of 1739. This series first began as a proposal from our viewer's choice feature, and out of uh, deference and a desire to help that viewer, I'm continuing on to analyze more of the suggested passage. Subiectus eret ei, qui subiecit sibi omnia, ut concilietur illa apparens contradictio, distinguendum est regnum Christi mediatorium a regno Christi personali et naturali, igitur regnum Christi mediatorium in eum finem institutum, ut felicitatis nostri negotium expedi retur, ut Christus ea omnia efficeret quae ad nos servandos ac redimendos conducerent, quo pertinet eis arventus in mundum praedicatio mors resurrectio ascensio in coelum, victoria in hostes, eius denique abolitio mortis et introductio nostra in vitam aeternam. Clearly there is more here than can be dealt with in a four-minute episode, and yet these Latin sentences are quite long, and it seems a shame to cut them up in my reading of them. I will need to cut it up in terms of the analysis. He will be subjected, the subject is Christ, to the one who has subjected all things, omnia, to himself. Ut concilietur. Now, ut can mean purpose, it can mean result, and it can also be used in fear clauses and in use of noun clauses as an object. Here I believe this is a purpose clause. In order that the apparent contradiction, here's an instance in which translation by derivative is quite acceptable, in order that this apparent contradiction might be reconciled or might be uh, brought to terms, distinguendum est, there must be a distinction. The kingdom of Christ, that is the mediatorium regnum of Christ, must be distinguished from the regno Christi, from the kingdom of Christ, which is personal and natural, that is, by nature. Notice here we have distinguendum, which is what is called by the grammarians a passive paraphrastic. A passive paraphrastic has three elements. First of all, it has a gerundive, which is a future passive participle, namely distinguendum. It has a form of the verb esse, and it denotes, uh, it connotes necessity, or obligation. Sometimes when the agent that is being talked about is stipulated, then that is put in the dative case. And probably the agent here that is implicit is nobis. We must, uh, we must distinguish the regnum Christi, a regno Christi personali et naturali. Mediatorium here is an adjective modifying regnum. And here we have personali and naturali modifying regno. So there's a certain balance and uh, parallelism in Turretin's construction of these clauses. He says now, therefore, the regnum mediatorium, he's going to take the first one first and the second one second, no doubt, the mediatorial kingdom of Christ, institutum est. This is implicit. The mediatorial kingdom was established in eum finem for this reason. In with the accusative can equal purpose as can odd with the accusative, and I believe that's what it means here. Please see the next episode for the remainder of this sentence.